I'm Rachel, this is James, and that's our bus sunshine. I was going to school in North Carolina. I saw Sunshine sitting in a Kmart parking lot. James was living in California at the time, and I called him and I said, you need to come out here and test drive. So we drove the bus and bought it cash that very day. It was our first vehicle we've ever owned and the only one we've owned since. We headed out shortly after we got out of school. We had a little bit of money saved up. It was 2010. And we felt like we were just sitting behind a desk all the time, only being a mind, and we wanted to recognize that we're also a body. And we worked on farms. It was yeah. a really good year. I mean, we've continued that tradition. We do migrant labor as we move around, as well as art and content jobs. So we do both sides. We do things that stress the creativity, and then we do things that we do manual labor. We went on the road for a year at first as a trial thing. We moved to LA and got jobs. But then we realized that the open road just called to us. We've been coast to coast a few different times. We've been to Canada and Mexico, but we haven't really left North America. There's so many things to see out here. We can't go but 10 miles down the road every day and see something new. And We usually do about three states a season. We feel like slow travel is more like living in a place. You know, once you're in Wyoming for two months, you really feel like you get to know the culture and the people and you kind of settle and you're like, oh, I'm familiar with that species of grass, that kind of bird, and that feels really nice. It always feels like your home, even though you're always in a new place. And we really like to make it an ongoing education. We always read literature or books about the local area and we'll get guidebooks and learn flora and fauna. And that's really, really rewarding because you feel like you're actually part of that place. You don't have to travel to live life the way we're living. You don't have to live in a van to live a fulfilled life. You can live life however you really like to. And if you get down to the root of why you're doing it and do it because you really want to and because it makes you happy, then you live the best life you can. An important step for making a big change in your life is to make a small change tomorrow. If you've never hiked a hike nearby your town, go and hike it this Saturday. Don't just sit there saying, next summer I'm gonna do this thing. Go on Saturday and do something you haven't done before. Yeah, the best life changes happen in increments. You don't need to leap off a cliff to change your life. There is always something you can do to push yourself. Sit with yourself, find out what you really would like, and then try a piece of it. We just published a book and it's called Orange is Optimism and kind of our thesis statement of the book is that an optimist is the most radical thing you can be. That if you're going to make a change in your life, whatever it is, you have to have hope. You have to do something because you're building something that's better than what exists today. There's something special going on right now and it's, it's really exciting to be able to connect with people in the way that we are and I don't know where it's going or what it'll end up looking like, but I definitely would say that I think we're all living in an exciting time where people are making things happen and I'm really happy to be alive right now. <laughs>